have a few bit butts. Here is Isaac's Paw Patrol pasta and his Paw Patrol bowl in his Paw Patrol spin. Good morning, everybody. Usually, these shorts are really bulges on the sides, but I can feel that my body is becoming a bit more lean. I think I'm starting to see on my legs. I actually do believe when Kyle says my legs are strong just because my thighs genetically have always been pretty big and strong. I have noticed that for the past year, my thighs, my upper thighs, my inner thighs have been a bit more loose. I do notice that my legs lately are um, more tight. I mean, like I don't need a thigh gap, but it's just I've always taken pride in having strong legs. So I actually like having strong legs. I don't mind if they look big. Is everybody ready for breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I feel it going down the stairs. Oh, let's go, 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 go. Mommy needs to go faster. Momentum, momentum. Ah. Isaac wants his toast with bananas. Yum. I am having my cracker bread with chicken and ham paste. Just a little bit for some flavor and some avocado slices. Yum. Only 20 calories per slice. I've got my boiling water here, and in the morning I like to have green tea. I really enjoy the Clipper Organic Pure Green Tea. And then this is apple cider vinegar. I like to have this uh, two times a day because it's really good for my digestion. So happy gut, happy butt, as my friend Ling says. And I find it really helps with my bloating because I, I bloat a lot. So many benefits about having uh, apple cider vinegar, but just make sure it's from the mother. And then fold in half, good. And then you wanna fold and then fold. Yeah, roll it, keep rolling it. Next! Next one! My favorite ones! So, lay your trousers flat. Lay your trousers flat. Good. Next! Next one. Good. Now we fold in half and press. And press. Press, yep. And then you fold in half, fold in half, yep, and then you fold again. Very good! Well done! High five! Yeah! Nice and tight, shoulders back, and sit that booty nice and three, two, and one. And switch, awesome ladies, looking good. Favorite you know I like the crisscross on a bicycle. Hello everybody! I'm currently going off to my mummy in laws for dinner. So we're happy, so happy to have Yay. a lovely home cooked meal. Speaking of mother in law, I've actually had quite a few people asking me how to maintain a good relationship with your um, in laws and it's it's honestly very personal. Um I just think I'm I'm truly fortunate. I know in a lot of cases, uh when it comes to especially the mother-in-law, it's very easy to butt heads and sometimes maybe the husband comes in the middle. Thankfully, my mother-in-law is awesome. I get this question a lot, like how do you deal with toxic in-laws? It's really difficult and I know especially when it comes to Asian culture, um, it is tricky. Sometimes, not a few times, it's just kinder to just nod along and smile. Sometimes it's just better to be kind than to be right, but uh, this is just what I think. If uh, this person is constantly bullying you and or putting you down, then no. I don't care that this person is older. If they act like a child, then sometimes you have to treat them like a child. And I don't mean you have to be nasty back to them, um, but you deserve respect, basically. Honestly, really thankful that, you know, my mother and I are such great friends, but sometimes it's okay. You, you don't have to have that, and that's okay. You know, you can just get along. How would you deal with family members who are rude to you? Sometimes it's the family members uh, who are the ones that are most toxic, and sometimes it's your friends um, who, are, who feel more family to you. And I do have family members like this. And do you know what I do? I blank them. 
they don't deserve my energy, they don't deserve my response. You feel like this person like is just, you, you cannot say anything back. You cannot say, you know what, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Just like them. It's really funny because I used to do this with um, a family member of mine. And she keep arguing and arguing because she wants to prove her point. And then I realized that she's not willing to listen. So do you know what? I just blank them and say nothing. She really frustrates them and they try to like explain more. So they end up getting worked up and I'm just like, mm, okay. I got this from my boutique uh, monthly box. This is a black head and black mask home kit. Yay. Had this on for about 10 15 minutes and it's actually not a strip. It's just a very um, drenched sheet mask, if that makes sense. And I think it's supposed to open your pores. So now I'm going to open up number two, which is the black stick. And I believe I'm supposed to scrape the blackheads. So this will be fun. Let's take this off. And then I think you just scrape. I said, can you get me some tissue? Where's your for? For my nose. Okay. Thank you. I'm not really seeing very much being scraped off, but it could be because I don't actually have that much blackhead. My nose is all red from all the scraping. And there's not even much that came out. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday and I have a new workout sent to me by Kyle. So this is going to be a circuit. Burpee six times, tricep dip 10 times, mountain climber 20 times, plank for one minute, and then 10 squat jumps. So we're going to be doing eight rounds of that. quite a lot of comments uh, people asking me if I could make a video here's the thing as much as I would love to it's just it's only been two weeks so I don't feel like I qualify I can just kind of tell you what I'm doing but I'm in no place to give any advice because I'm no expert it's just eating cleaner and 
exercising at least three times a week. Really that simple. I know sometimes it's not what you want to hear, especially in today's day and age where, you know, you've got Amazon Prime and you can send uh, a message just like that with our phones. People just want to get results as quick as possible with um, as little uh, effort. And then I realized there's no miracle drink or pill that's really going to help you. And even if there is, it's, it's not going to be able to help you long term. You can't rely on that. So it's just having the dedication and uh, the exercise has been great because it keeps me sane mentally. It's been giving me such a boost and it's giving me more energy. The food that I'm eating, I'm having more protein in my diet. It's keeping me fuller for longer. I'm not slumping during the day. Usually around one o'clock is when I just slump and it's because I used to have the wrong types of food. Like I said, it's only been two weeks, but I'm really up for just sharing this journey with you all. It's not like I was ashamed of this body. I'm proud of this mum bod. I'm proud that I grew and birthed out two kids um, and I've been so focused on them and now it's time that I focus on myself. So all of this exercising, it's self-love. Cherish and I appreciate every single part of myself, but I know I can also be better. I can be stronger and I invite you all to join me in this journey. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon.